What's up, my name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can automatically detect errors and warnings in your code. So the first thing I want you to do is make sure you install Node.js and all you have to do is just click this button, download, install and you're good to go, okay? After that's done, you can just open your editor. I'm using VS Code. Um, if you're using something else, you can do the same thing. It's gonna be a little bit of different process, but I recommend VS Code. If you don't have it, give it a try. So I have here a very basic JavaScript code, as you can see. Um, I have an array, I'm declaring the array again and changing it, updating the array, and then I iterating the array and console logging all these items here. So let's make sure you have the ESLint extension installed on your VS Code. So um, click on this extension icon here and you can see, um, you can search for it here, ESLint. I already have it, but you can see it here. Um, and there's gonna be an install button. So you just click there and it's gonna install for you. Okay, it's that simple. Now, after that's done, you have to do something else. So let's close this. Um, let's go back here and click on the view and go to terminal. All right. And to start, I want you to write this on your terminal. Okay. So npm init. All right. This is going to ask you some questions. You can just press enter, enter, enter. Don't worry about that. You can change it later. And then yes, okay. And now we're ready. You can see now we have a package JSON file. And now what I want you to do is install ESLint globally. So you can use it on every single project. So go ahead and write npm install hyphen G for global ESLint. Press enter. All right, and now you have ESLint globally, okay? So now all we have to do every time we set up a project, we do, if we wanna use ESLint, you can do ESLint hyphen hyphen init. Hit enter. And it will ask you some questions, so it depends on your project. Um, you wanna check only your syntax, you wanna check your syntax and find some problems or syntax problems and forced code style. So I'm just gonna check my syntax and find problems. So I'm gonna hit enter there. What type of modules, JavaScript modules. Yeah. For now, I none of those, so none of these. Are you using React or Vue? Nope. Um, are your browser or Node? Browser. What format, JavaScript. Would you like to install them right now? Yes, please. So why enter? All right, and now you can see that we have uh, a node modules folder. We have an ESLint rc.js file. So if you click here, um, I don't know if you remember one of the questions. It says you want to be JavaScript or JSON. Um, you can have a JavaScript like this, or you can have a JSON file um, when you can uh, change it and you can declare rules, which we're gonna play a little bit with this later. All right, so we are ready to go. One last thing. You can extend all your rules and style and everything here. Um, and there's one that is very famous and a lot of developers are using it and is from Airbnb and I think it's awesome. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna install that Airbnb. So let's go ahead and install that. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. I have it here. So this is the one, let's paste it. So npm i for, for install eslin config Airbnb hyphen base. Now the base is because we're just using, um, you know, very simple JavaScript. So we just need the base. And, um, but there's another one if you're using React, like JSX or something like that. Don't worry, all these links are on the description of this video, so go there and you can read a little bit more, but let's hit enter here so we can install Airbnb. All 
All right, and now all you have to do is go here to your um, eslintrc.js file, and here it says extends. We're gonna replace this one by the Airbnb. So I'm gonna just copy and paste it from here. So I have it in here, let's paste it. And that's it, that's all you need. Let's save this file. All right, and now we are done with the terminal. So let's just close this. Let's go back to my main JS file. And here you can see that we already have some um, those red underlined things. And when you hover them, you can see um, the error. So it says cars is already defined and it's true. It's already defined. So this is very helpful because this um, redefining variables, it can cause you a lot of errors and headaches in the future. Right now, this is very simple, so you can just go ahead and, and, and fix it. But when you have a lot of code, it's not gonna be like that. So let's, let's just remove this one. Let's see what happens. Let's save it. And now you can see that we have more errors. Um, or actually, some of this is just warnings because my code, it will work. But this is warnings and this is getting all the style and all the rules from the Airbnb. So here you can see if we hover here is saying expected in the indentation of two spaces, but there are three spaces here. Um, so what they're saying is that if you remove this and put two spaces, so that's a rule, as you can see, now we don't have the error. Let's see another one, um, unexpected trailing coma. So they don't want you to put a coma at the end and they just want you to leave it like that. Let's go ahead and remove this rule from our setup here, our, from our rules. So all you have to do is go here and this is the name of the rule. So let's just copy this. Let's go back here, here in the rules. Let's put it in here. And to disable this, you just, you just put zero, which is like false. So let's save it. Let's go back. And now you can see that we do not have the error or the warning, you can say. So this is, this is how it works. It's very good for you because um, it teaches you how to clean your code and all your code is gonna be very consistent. Your indentation is gonna be the same if you use coma or no, so very helpful. So let's see what here, what we have here. All right, so no spaces. So it seems like it doesn't like this space right here. So if I remove that, so you can see that disappears and that's great, but I like the space. So let's put it back and let's disable that, whoops. Same thing, let's copy this. Let's go back here. And let's put a zero, safe. All right, and now I can have my space right there. I, I personally like it. I think it, it looks, I mean, it looks clean and you can read it better. All right, let's see this one. All right, so it's supposed to return a value, so and right now we're just constantly logging, which is fine. So if we change it to this, for example, instead of return, if, instead of constantly log this, so return, because it's expecting a return, right? So now you can see that it's gone. But I wanna console log for now, so let's go back. So let's do the same thing, that way we're not going crazy. You don't have to, but there you go. Save that, all right, and then console log. Yep, so this is something that I always, always disable because I'm always using console log, so. Um, there's one called non no console because they don't want you to have that extra code constantly logging everything and then Save it like that. So let's do this one too. Whoops.
and there you go. Um, if you see something like this, um, is because you have extra spaces. Let me see if they say this. Yep, there you go. Um, too many blank line, blank lines. Okay, so you just you know remove, and that's it, and you're good to go. And that way your code is pretty clean. I think you can clean it even more here. Your code is very clean. It's going to be very consistent because ESLint is going to kind is going to force you to do whatever you have in your rules. Okay, so and you can keep adding rules. I'm going to post a link in the description so you can take a look at all the rules from Airbnb. You can enable more, disable more. Like one that I like is called. Um, let's see. Um, we're using a var for variables. This one is called no hyphen var. So I'm going to turn this, turn this one on. Let's enable it. And you can see now it says unspect, unexpected var, use let or const instead. And yes, that's something that I really like. So let's use const and you're good to go. Now, something that I really like, let's go back here. Let's use the var. Let's put this space. Let's remove some of this, for example. And now you can see some errors and stuff. Now I want to automatically fix this when I save the file and that's possible. So let's go click on code here, go to preferences, settings. You will see some settings here. Go to your extensions. You will see all your extensions, ES lint. And here you see some options. And here's the one that I want. Auto fix on save. I'm going to turn this on. So just click there. And now it's on. Let's close the settings again. Now, all I'm going to do is save this file. There you go. Now, as you can see, um, the var was changed to let. My space here was removed. And, um, and no comma. So it all depends on your rules it will do it for you automatically on save. Okay, so you need to be careful because maybe you will save and it will change your whole code and it's not what you want. So you need to make sure you have your rules and everything on place before you enable the automatic fix. All right, and that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Day. Bye bye.